Well, here we go, guys. Round two. If it fits your macros. Sort of, kind of. Like always, get my day started off with a coffee. This is just black blonde roast from Starbucks. Going right into my usual breakfast at work. I have a protein shake mixed with oatmeal. That is uh, one packet of the low sugar, one packet of the high fiber. I mix the two. It is uh, super delicious. So it's really good in helping get in some extra fiber. And I mix in the lower sugar packet to add just a little bit of different flavor. Because for some reason, I can only find high fiber maple brown sugar. And I just get bored with that, eating that all at the same time. So uh, I'm going to pull up the macros here. You can see in a second, looks like we got about 160 calories per packet, two grams of fat, and uh, I can't read the rest. So <laughs> we're going to skip right past it. So add in the high fiber packet, and then here's one of the sugar packets. Depending on the flavor, they have slightly different calories, but more or less they're all along the same guidelines. So they deviate maybe slightly a couple grams of fat. Up next, go to my daily multivitamin. This is the new Life Strip from Shackley. I've been taking the men's vitalizer for several years. This is kind of just the new and improved upgraded version of that. I've been taking multivitamin every day of my life for the past 10 years. I highly recommend you do too. And getting right along into the next little bit, I have my protein shake there. That is just two scoops of MTS Machine Whey with a cinnamon raisin bagel from Chesapeake Bagel Bakery and some honey almond cream cheese. This was a surprise. On my way down to go pick up lunch for the office, we ordered from this local Thai place. Pretty much always get the same thing when I get Thai. This chicken with spicy basil and white rice. Lego. One of the many reasons why I live, living where I do and working where I do, we can walk to like everything. Where we live, our apartment, we can walk to so many good places to eat. Some chains, some local places. I much prefer local places. Max does not. But this video is not about Max. It's about the elder, what he eats. So, this place, absolute Thai, very good. Uh, like I said, I only get the ground chicken option, but got lost in translation. They only give me regular chicken, whatever. So I get this a lot, so this is not gonna be in my fitness pile. I'm not gonna be able to track this exactly. But I do get this a lot, so I kinda just found something that works. Basically just put in one cup rice and then ground chicken. I think there's like a Thai option of like some kind of similar entree. Just guesstimate it, go from there. Pretty much everything else so far has been trackable. Here's what we got. So best case scenario here, I'm going to guesstimate a lot of the fat. Um, it's cooked in oil and stuff. You can't really be sure exactly what you're getting, but it is just a lot of fried rice, chicken, and veggies. So the dish I found on my fitness pal, I think puts us, like I said, around a cup of rice, and then just guesstimate about four ounces chicken. And honestly, the vegetables that don't even really count because the vegetables, they don't count. All right, so I'm getting ready to hop on a conference call and I'm hungry. So I keep a drawer full of snacks like I showed you earlier with the oatmeal. I normally always have oatmeal for the breakfast, which I will eat with my protein shake. Uh, and then I will do some either protein chips or a bar or a cookie, which I get all from Max. Thank you, Max. So I'm gonna open up my bag of protein chips, hop on my conference call, and then I'll probably be having one of my Quest bars on my way to or right before school. Lego. Got 120 calories, 2 grams of fat, 5 grams of carbs, 21 protein. Whammy. And surprise, surprise, even in my day of eating videos, I'm in my car. So, one thing I forgot to show in this eating is that I had a honey crisp apple this morning, first thing. I already added that to my fitness pal. You didn't see it. I'd hate to pull a Nick right and just say things I ate or show it and then uh, you have no idea what I was talking about. Hey, just kidding, NWB, I love you, bro. But really, uh, if you wanna do a Dave eating video, don't. Ah -ha -ha. So I'm realizing I'm a lot hungrier than I thought, so I'm on campus a little bit early. Let's go find some food. Hey guys, so just got out of class. On that last clip that I picked up a little snacky poo at the cafe thing right next to my classroom. Now that was a tuna fish wrap 
tortilla thing. It was some kind of tuna fish salad with lettuce, tomato. Um, clearly had mayonnaise in the wrap with the tuna salad, a little bit of onion. Pretty basic, but what I did in situations like that, because there's no barcode, it was just kind of something that is put together here locally. Uh, I just type in my fitness pal, I pull up tuna salad wrap. Pull up something that I think more or less follows the macros or the calories for what I had. So odds are a 10 inch tortilla is a 10 inch tortilla is a 10 inch tortilla. A serving of tuna salad is a serving of tuna salad is a serving of tuna salad, blah, 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 blah. So in situations like that, they do a really good job, I think. My fitness pal does a really good job of having homemade or generic entries for situations like that. So after that, for the day so far, I'm just shy of about 2,000 calories. So what does that mean? Well, Chase is still hungry. So today is Thursday, the day after I did squats. Now on my leg day, my squat day, because I do a lot of volume and because it is leg day, your legs are your largest muscle groups in your body, your glutes, your hams, your quads. They burn a lot of calories. And so, especially on top of that, with all the volume that I do, my leg day and my day after leg day are kind of freebies. So if I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat. Again, kind of going along the whole premise of this, if it fits your macros, kind of, sort of, is I follow my guidelines of my macronutrient breakdown more intricately with protein to make sure I'm getting at least my body weight in protein. And as of lately, I weighed in at about 172. So for sure hit that every day. And then on training days, I'll go even a little bit higher. So I'm about 1900 calories, higher on the carbs already than I would like. I need more fat, need more protein. So what I think I'm gonna do, head home. <sighs> Seat warmers are on, toasty buns. Uh, head home, I'm gonna down a protein shake. I actually got a, a new protein in that I'm gonna try from a company I'm trying and so i'm gonna give that a whirl we're gonna do a live taste test with that get some more protons in and then go from there i think i'm gonna go meet up with may so we may go out to eat may go get some food may cook something Ooh, i just remembered she has mint chocolate chip ice cream at home definitely gonna have some mint chocolate chip ice cream so even once i hit my macro count for the day my calorie count for the day i'm gonna have some ice cream and that's just the whole premise of this guys so stick to your routine exercise, hit your numbers in your food. Don't go crazy, but you know what? If you want some ice cream, eat some damn ice cream. Yeah. Stay tripping, man. All right, and like I said, uh, oh, Chase, make a spread box video. Come on, man. All right, so this company, uh, Epibolics, uh, has sent me a box of Nifty Gifties, and one of them, among some other vitamins and supplements and stuff, is this Whey Pure, this Whey Protein Powder. So creamy chocolate, whey from New Zealand pasture-fed cows with two grams of added fiber per serving. Um, so yeah, they are a relatively new company and I've looked into them, read a lot of their literature. They are very science-driven, very medically oriented. So I like the uh, kind of due diligence and homework they do in their products. And so these are the macros on this. Chase, stop shaking, you're hungry. Uh, so we got one scoop is gonna be about 140 calories, two grams fat, seven grams of carbs, and 21 grams of protein. So let's crack this bad boy open, get a taste test going. Like always, you gotta figure out where the damn scooper is. Right, so. One scoop. Oh yeah, this'll do. It's like pretty good. So Epibolix whey protein, very delicious, gotta say. Uh, the chocolate was very tasty, and the mixability, which I'm a huge, huge advocate of in protein powders, was right on the level of MTS Machine Whey. Now, so far, MTS Machine Whey, in my opinion, has the easiest mixability of protein powder, but I gotta say, Epibox whey protein powder was pretty much on par. You saw a few shakes, 
good to go. So very good tasting. Um, the only real issue I have with them is the products are great. I love it. But the container uh, is a little bit narrow and the scoop has a really long handle and you really have to bury the handle in it to get it to seat back and close properly. So maybe something to think of down the line, guys, maybe widen the tub of the protein a little bit uh, and then shorten the handle of the scoop. I'm probably going to wind up cutting the handle of the scoop off. So other than that, Epibolic's whey protein, tune in the elder, seal of approval. Now let's go get our sushi on. Don't have to travel far for good sushi here. We live literally across the street from Sushi Rock. So did a call and order for May and I. Spicy tuna rolls with some salmon sashimi. And to wrap it all up, we got two, count them, two orders of spicy tuna avocado. Spicy, yeah, you really I can talk. Spicy tuna avocado. Uh, we got two orders of salmon sashimi and then may also got the california rolls so that's gonna wrap up today uh i will not be showing my ice cream because if you don't want to count it just don't count it and it doesn't count so there you go if it fits your macros sort of kind of volume two let me know what you think stay hungry yeah, so that's gonna be a wrap for this if it fits your macros sort of kind of volume two let me know what you like. Uh, like I said, more or less, I stick to a guideline, especially for protein, because I think protein is the most essential macronutrient to hit regularly on a daily basis if you're lifting, if you're trying to maintain or build muscle mass. And for me right now, I'm more or less just in a maintenance phase. So I always try to get my body weight one gram of protein per pound of body weight. My carbs will kind of fluctuate depending on my activity, uh, on my leg day, my day after, I pretty much will have a higher carb day. Uh, and then my fat is more or less consistent. So I'll try to hit between 70 and 80 grams of fat. Um, but again, with all of this, I still like to live my life. <laughs> if someone wants to go grab a drink, get some ice cream, um, have bring in treats to the office, I'm not gonna turn it down just because it's gonna put me like 10 grams over my carbs or 20 calories over. So I just stay active. I do everything I can throughout the day to just stay on my feet. I take the stairs, I park further away, I walk whenever I can, I stand when I'm on the phone at work, I stand when I'm trying to do work on the computer. So any little thing you can do throughout the day to help just stay more active is the name of the game. So on top of that, hit your lifts, go work out, enjoy your life. So that's gonna be a wrap, guys. Thanks again for sticking around, and uh, I'll see you next time. Let me know if you like this. Let me know uh, what you think could be done differently, what could be done better, and I will try to, like I said, put up another Spreza Box video soon. Uh, other than that, the vlog just went up a couple days ago, so stay tuned for the next one of those. Uh, yeah, see you later.